There we go. Now we're getting the chunk. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm going to be reacting to the new Muse song, Kill or Be Killed. Now, I was actually going to check this out way earlier because there was like a live performance of it. But as you guys probably know, that never happened. But I've heard it's heavy. And even the Muse account themselves have posted Kill or Be Killed is Muse at their heaviest in the comments of the music video. So I've been checking out a lot of like live performances from them. And I've really enjoyed uh, having that experience. And yeah, it's going to be fun to like check out the new stuff as well because there have actually been like two more, two other singles that I haven't uh, heard, which I might uh, check out in videos if you guys want. But other than that, uh, let's just get into this. Before we get into the song, though, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and that join button to become a member. It really, really helps me out. Thank you, thank you. And I gotta tell you about the state of the scene, the best alternative music podcast out there. Link in the description down below. Seriously, go check them out. This is Kill or Be Killed by Muse. Let's, let's, let's go. Yeah. What? Reminds me a lot of the stuff they do live. <laughs> okay. Woo! Those distorted screams were cool. Definitely feels like Muse, <laughs> but yeah, it's not as punchy as I thought it would be, um, yet, at least. <laughs> okay. I'm like trying to listen to the mix. It's like it's it's kind of strange. I don't know. During these parts, it feels so like um, not disjointed is not the right word because that like kind of implies that it's a negative thing. But it just feels separated, I guess. And then when that like main riff comes in, it feels a bit more like tight and together. Not in like a the rest is sloppy way, but in the way that it's mixed, you know. And, and I don't know. I don't know if that made sense. But yeah, so far uh, interesting. <laughs> Or was that a sin? That's a sin. Or is it? <laughs> so like little lead, but it was like only on the fucking left side, unless my headset is broken. <laughs> <laughs> this one it's really weird because i feel like I, I i'm trying to listen to the song and it's hard to like stop and say stuff which is like it's weird i don't know i'm just trying to like really listen to everything that's happening and yeah i don't know so far it's like it's not um it's not super heavy i don't know like i, I was thinking a little bit heavier than this because yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I've heard heavier from them, but that's only so far. We're only halfway, like, almost halfway through the song, so... This is a cool chorus instrumentally. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
There we go. Now we're getting the chunk. <laughs> Is that a low? Was that a fucking low? <laughs> that was a low. Let's say that again. Do it. It's a very distorted one, but that's sick. Nice. Interesting sounding guitar solo. <laughs> and then they go straight into super fucking muse shit. Alright, I'm glad we got some we got some we got some actual chunk, you know? That was sick. Okay. I want more. I want more of that. And I want like more prominent screams, like stuff that's a little bit more like in your face. Cause right now it's kind of being used as like a um I don't know, it's kind of being used as an instrument rather than an actual vocal. And I'd like to hear some screams be like a little bit more front and center, you know? <laughs> this is super fun. Oh, please go into some dirty, dirty shit. Please. Like, I know you know we had this riff before, but please make it... Please make it, like, disgusting. Oh, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Please. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, I like this ambience. It's got a very, like, um, futuristic and also, like, apocalyptic sound to it. Um, I feel like a lot of these singles have had that. Um, and I mean, all, a lot of, like, Muse stuff has had, uh, like, from what I've checked out, has had very, like, dark sounding stuff to it but like in a very dramatic theater kind of way this one still has that but it's it's like a little bit more on the future side of things i guess or like the cyberpunk kind of vibe is is like somewhat strong here okay kill or be killed i think this is i think this uh i think this is a grower for me um yeah like i liked a lot of the parts but i think um i need to hear it like a few times for it to to really like come together. I just think it's one of those. I just think it's a grower for me, uh, honestly. But there were a lot of cool parts there though. I, I I kind of I expected it to be heavier, actually. Because this is this this doesn't feel that I feel like I've heard heavier. Um obviously those that's been from like the, the live stuff, which obviously they go fucking crazy uh during those. So I should probably listen to like the, the live version of this actually as well. I'll do the low. Jesus. Sound like some death pile shit. <laughs> yeah, I think this, I think it's a case of a uh, grower for me, honestly. Because I think, you know, obviously there's a lot um, in this song. It's five minutes long. It's got different sections. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like I really love a lot of the uh, individual parts, but then need to hear it more just to, like, really, yeah, have them connect for me. But it's really cool to hear them, like, just straight up, for example, do a low here, like, <laughs> and to have those, like, screams in there, I, I think it's, it's just really fun. And of course, like, there are some parts that I feel like, you know, it's got that, like, weird desert prog shit, you know, sounds to it, and, and it's like, this song definitely feels, um, 
like muse to me and that's coming from someone who hasn't heard that much muse you know you, like you guys have seen everything that i've heard basically it's got a heavier tone uh to it and honestly i feel like they can go further with it you know i feel like this is like this is good this is really good and like i said i think it's a grower so it's pro i'm probably gonna start liking it more but i feel like they could push this even further and get some like just straight up nasty shit and still you know sound like muse and not turn people off from the band like i said have some of those screams be like way more front and center could be really cool just go even crazier with it i think this album is going to be fun to listen to i'm i'm going to check it out when it comes out and i think i'm going to enjoy it a lot and then obviously i'm going to continue to check out more muse stuff um like i've been doing but overall i just think it's cool that they're they're really pushing that metal side of things while not losing the beautiful stuff underneath that's always been there in muse or whatever from my impression obviously <laughs> i just feel like they have like underneath everything regardless of how like heavy or extreme it is or like fast or gross sounding there's always this beautiful song underneath it and it's like every song is really well written and it's 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 you can hear that. I like this description of it. This track is heavy and classy, which I think is what it is. It's like, it's got punch, but it's, in, it's, it's, it's very classy, you know, which is, it's sort of how I feel about Muse. It's that they, even when they do go heavy, it's like very classy and not done in like a, it's not done in like an extreme metal way. It's really odd, but I don't know. I think it's really cool that a band um, like this is just, it's pushing more towards that, you know, having shit like this in their songs, like straight up doing some lows and some, some other screams and, and the fact that they, they do breakdowns, <laughs> you know? It's awesome to hear as someone who loves um, metal and especially extreme metal as much as I do. It's, it's just so, it's cool to see it being sort of utilized in, in a setting like this. And I know that they've done other heavy stuff, but it's also like their last album, I haven't heard really the last album, but wasn't that like way softer shit and now they're going back to like way more extreme version of like uh, some of the stuff it's it's yeah i don't know i i really appreciate that so yeah that was kill or be killed someone in the comments pointed out that like that riff that really chugging shit it's kind of like a slam riff which is is, is true it's just i like that a lot <laughs> all right let me know what you guys think of the song in the comments down below and also how excited are you for the album and also let me know what other muse songs i should check out there are a lot of songs to go through and i've already gotten a bunch of requests and stuff but i'm trying to see like what people want the most and then and, and then trying to do that and then i don't know base it on that basically yeah i'm really excited to hear um how this is gonna grow on me because i'm i'm, I'm already liking it more like when i re listened when i just re-listened to that uh that like breakdown basically i got like i got a little uh, i got a little giddy so um <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and click that join button to become a member it really really helps me out thank you thank you follow me on twitter instagram and join my discord server all the links will be in the description down below in addition to everything from the state of the scene also let me know what other bands and artists you want me to talk about review react to and i will see you guys later goodbye